pleasure of introducing the Honorable Karen Freeman Wilson, Mayor, City of Gary. Mayor Wilson. Good morning. Um, to the um, War Memorial Committee and to all of the veterans and their families and friends and loved ones, I am extremely pleased to bring you greetings on behalf of the city of Gary, Indiana. I also uh, want to take this opportunity to acknowledge our 5th District Council person, Kimberly Robinson, who is also here today. As um, we think about uh, this season where we honor those who have served and who have represented and who have given the ultimate sacrifice for our country, I, I think about the one thing that runs throughout the DNA of the individuals who we memorialize and those who are living that we honor as well, and that is a desire, a sincere desire and willingness to be their brother or their sister's keeper. They have served our country in war, they have served our country in peace, and they have served our country with distinction. I look out among this audience and know the same is true, that each and every individual who has served has a innate desire to serve God's people. And that is really the legacy of the individuals who we memorialize and remember this Memorial Day. That is the legacy of each and every one of you who already have served and who continue to serve. And that is something that we can take away as individuals who may not have served in the armed forces, but who still have a desire to be our brother's or sister's keeper. That there are various ways that we can serve, but that our city, our Northwest Indiana region, and our country needs us to continue to have a spirit of service. It is an honor to serve with you. It is an honor to also acknowledge and memorialize your service. You know, even though he isn't here today, Brigadier General Price, I can tell you one of the first letters that I received as mayor of the city of Gary was from Brigadier General Price with a desire and an offer to provide any service that he could as a native of Gary and as one who still cared about this community. And so I thank each and every one of you for being here today. I would encourage you to take away from the legacy of service that there is still much work to do. And I honor and uh, pay homage to the men and women who have served in our country, for our country, and who have given the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you and God bless you.